Hello! In this video, I will go through the Transform tools in Bidographer. So if you are using any of these, the Marquee tool, the Select tool, or the Color Select tool, you click on one, and a new menu pops up here. Those are the Transform tools. And if I select some beads, I can rotate them right, rotate them left, rotate them 180 degrees, flip horizontal, or flip vertical. Now, this is not really behaving the way that I might expect it to. I chose this because I think the transform tools are generally pretty straightforward, but if you designed at an angle like I have here, it might be hard to predict how the beads will flip horizontally and vertically, so that's why I wanted to pick this one. The way to make it more predictable is to rotate the canvas like this so that if you're working in brick stitch, the rows line up as a brick stitch project. If you're working in peyote, you can have it at 90 degrees. But having it lined up like this means that now it will be a little bit more predictable and you can see what's going on a bit better. So now when I flip horizontally, you can see that means that it draws a vertical axis, as shown in the picture here. It draws a vertical axis and then flips over that. And the same thing to flip vertically, it draws a horizontal axis, as shown in the, in the picture, and it flips over that. So that's how to make it a little bit more predictable if you're working at an angle. Finally, on the Transform Tools panel, there's an Erase button, and this might be of most interest to iPad users because it's the only way to erase multiple beads at once. You can erase them like that.